the magic word, I'm Magic Mark, and my guest at the time, at the, I can't speak, my guest at this time is the lovely Violet Vendetta. Hi. Hello. Am I Violet or am I my real me? Well, that's up to you. You can be your real you or you can be, well, I can tell them your name if you want. Yeah. It's Anna. It's a name. There you go. Exclusively revealed <laughs> on the magic word is your actual name. Yeah. In fact, tell me why Violet Vendetta? Um, when I first started training, I, um, I think I wanted to go for like a burlesque kind of gimmick. And a few of my friends were like doing burlesque anyway. So I was talking to them like saying, I really need a really cool name. So they were like helping me choose a name. And we came up with all kinds of stuff. Like, m originally my name was Cherry Rumble. <laughs> Cherry Rumble. <laughs> yeah. Violet Vendetta's better than that. Yeah, yeah. And my, yeah, so my friend actually came up with Violet Vendetta and I was like, I really like that. But like, since wrestling more, I've kind of like gone off the name a little. Why? It's I awesome. I don't know. I don't know. Because it's just such an extreme name. <laughs> extreme? What do you think? But then I'm like, I don't know, it's alright. It certainly works more as a, as a heel name than, yeah. a, than a goodie name. But it's good as well because, like, obviously with social media now, there's so many hashtags for everything. So when, there's a lot of vendetta in wrestling. So when, like, you see hashtags vendetta, like, I'll always be in some kind of feud somewhere. Of, okay. like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's cool. So you'll always kind of find me. I hate that you have to think like that. I still don't know how to promote this shit. Alright. <laughs> I, I, I'm like, watch this on Facebook. Where else do you advertise that kind of thing? I don't know. Well, there's, uh, there's tell me. There's, in the box below, tell me. Or, 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 well, that would mean people would be watching it. <laughs> they do watch it. Lots of yeah. people watch it. Tell your friends this show's great, right? Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Right, so you don't like Violet Vendetta anymore? What yeah, would you... I know, I do. I don't know, um, I'd probably just have, <coughs> like, um, from the age of 16, one of my friends nicknamed me Anna Pat. Right. My middle name is Patricia. Right. So, just for short, he nicknamed me Anna Pat, and it's just stuck ever since. I don't know, I kind of like, I feel like that's got a bit of a ring to it. And I think because my gimmick is like kind of like a pin up, I think it sounds more like a pin up name. <laughs> I like Violet Vendetta, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you something, I kind of. I started just calling myself Mark Adams before all the, the magic happened, and Mark Adams is my real name. And I kind of wish I'd got like a gimmicky name instead. Yeah. So I think everyone's kind of. Probably unhappy with what they've, yeah, what they've got as their as their wrestling name because you only get one chance. Yeah, and I think the reason why I wanted such an extreme name is because before I start to properly wrestling, I um, get really bad nerves. Like I suffer with my nerves really bad. Yeah. And um, so I thought if I just create this like crazy name, then I can just kind of focus on the fact that this is a different person mm. so I can become that character and I don't have to worry about nerves. It's worked because my nerves aren't as bad as they used to be. Fair enough, that yeah. makes sense. Mm. I think I thought the first time I came across you that I saw this incredible picture of you. You were kind of like posing with a spanner over your shoulder. Oh yeah. I love that photo and I was like, who is the bloody hell? <laughs> yeah. I mean, wasn't that relatively early in your career as well. It was, yeah. But they were so professional, and the name and the image, I was like, who the fuck is this? How have I not heard of her before? So I think what you did was you got it right at the start. Yeah, I think, um, like, ever since I was about 19, <coughs> 18, 19, which was a long time ago, I, um, <laughs> I've always done, like, cause I'm alternative and stuff, so I've always done, like, an alternative photo shoot, so I'll do, like, you know, kind of goth or pin off and what other stuff have I done? You got your boobies out? I've never got my boobies out. Never got your boobies out? I've never got my boobies out. So definitely not your foofy then? No. No. Never can't be foofy out. No Maybe foof. I'll do like implied nude. Implied foof. Maybe. <laughs> that kind of shit. Yeah. Yeah. But you you wouldn't do that. No. Even if the money was right. No. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think then. <laughs> 
That's interesting because I mean a lot of the stuff I've seen you do, and, and a lot of the other girls actually, is really, really fucking saucy. But to my knowledge, a lot of the American WWE stars did Playboy before it was like, oh no, we don't do that anymore. Yeah. I don't think I know of any of the girls on the British wrestling scene getting the boobies out. No. Oh. No, I haven't oh. seen any boobies. Because, you know, you can Google Maurice and didn't, in fact, didn't half of them do it. Half yeah. of the WWE women getting their boobies out. Well, why have I Googled Maurice with the boobies out? I don't even like boobies. No. Have you Googled Maurice with the boobies out? No, but I'm probably going to now. Uh, have you Googled any of them with the boobies out? Yeah. yeah. More. Yeah. Did you Google Seth Rollins Willie as well? Yeah. Did it really annoy you that idiots were saying it was small? Yeah. Yeah, it was it was a nice normal average it size Willie on it. It was, yeah. All I can think is these people are so desperate to pretend they've got a big dick yeah. that they were like, Oh that's small. No, it's not. You obviously haven't seen enough dicks if yeah. you think that's small. That's just what people are like though, yeah. like you know, at the end of the day, um, what what he did, he took a picture of himself naked. Who doesn't do that? Who doesn't take a picture of himself naked and send it to the girlfriend, even though he didn't send it to his girlfriend, didn't he send it to his now girlfriend? Oh, I don't know, but he got his willy out and he sent it, yeah. which, let's be honest, <laughs> I've done that, I've done that today. It's, it's just like, <laughs> it's not like it's an unusual thing, and but I, I think that's the kind of a, the pressure of, and at no point am I saying that I'm famous, but... I guess I could send a picture of my willy to the wrong person and... Uh, but I don't want to be in the WWE. But I, I'm too old and I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm doing, you know. Yeah. But I guess that is a massive concern for anyone who does want to go further than the British wrestling scene. Mm. So don't send a picture of your boobies or your foofy to any of the boys. No one. Have you ever done that? Just, no. Good. Oh. Obviously, like, I've had boyfriends and stuff, so boyfriends have probably owned naked pictures of me. Boyfriends, what, are wrestlers? <laughs> Unfortunately. You're not supposed to do that. Have you not heard you the think, rule? The only no. rule, don't date in wrestling. The thing is, though, right, it's just, you see, it's work, isn't it? I work with these people. Absolutely. I don't, I don't go out. I don't have a social life. Yes, you do. The only time I go out with people is people that I work with. So if I happen to, I don't know, chat to someone, we have so much in common. Um, we'll have stuff in common anyway because of wrestling. Yeah. And um, if you're both attracted to each other, you get on really well. Yeah, I think it's bullshit too. And the reality yeah. is you, you, you hit it on the head, it's work. And a lot of people meet yeah. at work. I know couples that are both teachers, they met in, they work in the exactly. same, still work in the same school. I know couples that are both police officers. So yeah. And, I don't think it's any more or any... It's just, it's just in the office, you know? Yeah! But also, it's it's private, so if you just keep your shit to yourself, I mean, I don't like people knowing about my business anyway, but I always hear about my own business, and I'm like, oh, I did that! <laughs> no, I didn't! <laughs> what is your favourite rumour that was bullshit that you heard about yourself? Because I've got a home dignity. You tell me yours first, and I'll tell you mine. <laughs> what about you? No, no, you um, tell me your favourite rumour you heard about you. Oh, um, And you can tell me your favourite rumour you heard about me as well. So gossipy, I love a bit of gossip. Oh, I don't know. Right, well, I'll tell you the rumour I heard about me. I heard that um, G-Man and I had a disagreement a while ago. And I heard that we had an out-and-out -out brawl backstage in a, uh, at a wrestling show. No. There was, there was, at no point was there any fisticuffs between me and g -Man. But apparently this had gone round all the back. And what really annoyed me is that the rumour had G-Man win the fight. Didn't care that there was the bullshit <laughs> rumour. But I wanted to be the winner of this fantastic fantasy <laughs> battle. No, apparently he battered me. Wow. Well. Yeah. That was, that, that's my favourite right, rumour that's a complete lie that I've heard about me. Wow. Yeah. It's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah. Do you know who told me that? Ew. G man. Really? Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> he'd heard it. Right. And he was like, but that didn't happen. Do you think, do you think he put his own twist on it there, though? 
Oh, oh, maybe the rumour was that I won, but he lied to me. Ah, mm. uh, <laughs> that could be true. <laughs> Have you heard any rumours about me? If it's true, I'll tell you it's true. No, actually. Oh. No. I'm trying to think if I've heard any rumours of you now. I've heard you got a tattoo on your bum. I do have a tattoo on my bum. <laughs> no, no way. That was like my first one ever. <laughs> I was 16. What's it of? It's meant to be a paw print. Well, like a kitty? Yeah, but it looks more like a raccoon one. <laughs> like a kitty. Yeah. Why a kitty just, paw print? I don't know. I thought it was cute. Uh, cats are cute. Look at this face. Tell me that isn't cute. Dirty. <laughs> She's in most of the videos. I love that cat. She's like your mascot. <laughs> she is. She's like the star. She's the star. And... Um, what, so, have, have you heard any rumours about you that aren't true? Uh, people assume just because we've both got tattoos mm. that I've been with T-Road. Right. But I'm really close to T-Road, but I have never been there. Essentially. Never no. would. Okay. It's funny because people say the same thing and he's like, ugh. Because <laughs> we just don't... <laughs> nice. Well, I know, yeah, but we just don't see each other like that. But like people just assume because we've tattooed and we talk and blah blah, it's like yeah. But well, boys aren't allowed to talk to girls unless oh, they want to have sex with them. That that that's the law. I know. I mean that that's why I invited you on my show. You know. <laughs> I think I'm just I'm a laid back. I'll I'll talk to anyone. And I will. But sometimes when you do talk to people, it's just like oh, they fucking they are. Like if you weren't if you weren't gay. Yeah. And this went out. They probably fucked after. That's what it's like. It's so bad. I'm planning on fucking you, <laughs> don't it? It's been so long. I, I wouldn't know what it was like again. Lies. <laughs> no, honestly. I'm, I'm done with boys. You done with boys? Yeah. You know me for a long time. But they're now. great. No. I like boys. I mean. I'd like to clarify. I mean men. Oh yeah. That men. Means, yeah. Yeah. Um, you should. You should. I'm trying to say, who's single in wrestling? No. Who's no. single in wrestling that you can have sex with? No. Um, what about T-Bone? No. <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm not going to go there. I would. I would totally go there if this was a car journey and there wasn't. Hiya. Oh, yeah. But I'm not going to go there. I do, I do that with Melanie Price. You know, I go through a roster and say, Would you go with him? Would you go with him? Would you go with him? Would you? And she always says no to all of them. Yeah. Full see that girl. Should get men on the show. Have you ever wrestled male? No, but we've had like uh, cat fights and stuff at HIC. Oh, you did, didn't you? Yeah. Who won? I made a bleed once and I felt really guilty after. Poor male. Yeah, I did feel bad. How'd you make a bleed? Stiffing her with an yeah, elbow in the um, face. She slapped me, so I slapped her back. But I think I caught her nose at the same time. Right. So you slapped her back? But you dug your claws in. Uh, yes, must have. Uh, I didn't mean you though. I know. But uh, yeah, when I saw her after, it's like all oh, the nose was bleeding, and I was just like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. You slapped me once. I did. Knocked me glasses into the front row. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking superb. I love slapping people, it's so much fun. The thing is, when you get slapped, it's like, ow! Yeah. And then it's gone, so it's fine. I but, know. yeah, <laughs> this girl can hit. I slapped um, Steve Carino once. Did you? Yeah. Steve Who is he the most famous person you've slapped? Yes. Okay. And um, it was quite possibly the loudest slap I've ever done. To the point where I literally half an hour after my hand was still like aching a bit. <laughs> I, was just, I was like, I'm so sorry. Because like I know some people would prefer to get like slapped in the neck. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it's just a slap. Just yeah, take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah I agree. So there are some people that I have slapped in the neck and it's just not, it's not the same. No. Um, I don't know, I just put it in the face. If you're going to take it, just take it to the face. Well, uh, if, if... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. That's, that, that is on camera. We can cut that out so that there's no context and have it as like a meme. Yeah. 
I say that, but I'm not that good at video editing. Right. Okay. But I do know someone who is. Oh. Yeah. So so we'll have that as a meme. Okay. Yeah, we'll have that as a meme. Take it, take it in the face. <laughs> 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 but surely Steve Carino was pleased that it. Isn't that the point? It's a visual thing and the noise and the ah oh, from the fans. Well, the thing is, when I like when I do my ballet as well, mm -hmm. which I'm doing in a while, I miss it. Like if I slap someone at the end, they always thank me. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, okay, are you okay? Yeah, I remember being really pleased that it got the reaction it did when you belted yeah. me. And then and, and similarly, you know, I've been. Um, I, I'm only a manager in one place, but whenever someone does something, it gets a reaction. I'm like, yes. Yeah. Johnny Storm gave me a six one nine once, and um, Sander Cooper describes the way I, um, I I sold it as it, he said, "You withered," and I'm pleased with that. Yeah. I, I think that my kind of like basically hissy fit character that I do that w would wither. So I'm very pleased watching the footage back. It's campus and ramping Yeah. Tents. And that's what you want. Yeah. That's what you want. That's what they're booing. They're booing the the guy who's having a massive hissy fit. Mm. And if he gets kicked in the face, they want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I've taken my arm off Johnny before. Really? Yeah. It was fun. <laughs> Did you with her? I can't remember actually. What, what was I'm the context of Johnny Storm booting you in the mush? I am. Um, it, I was working for a company called AWW in Birmingham, mm -hmm. and I was... I remember them. Are they still going? Yeah, I think so. Wasn't it Alternative Wrestling World That's, it stood yeah. for? Yeah. And I... I went to a couple of their shows. I was a valet for Brandon Thomas. Yes. Um, but I was a special guest ref in, in, in this match. Right. So, um, basically, he, he gave us both like a drop to hold. Because I, I was taking a piss in the match. Right. We so we got like a double. And I think we did like a spanking spot as well. He always has to slide it in there. <laughs> I don't bump. <laughs> I did it again. Wow, that's another <laughs> one for the meme reel. <laughs> but yeah, it, that's twice now I've been involved with Johnny. I am going to do that. I am going to do these memes. But I, I'm terrible. I just walk straight. Or they just slide in. They just slide in. <laughs> That's another one. I'm terrible. <laughs> you shouldn't be there at the ass. <laughs> Pardon? You shouldn't be there at the ass. I know, yeah. That's why I try not to leave that <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Mm. Do you know I don't know what your real life job is? What's that your real life job? Last year, I graduated from uni. Mm. I was there for four years. I was doing an honours degree in fine art. Okay. So I was doing that for four years. And then after that... Is, is that the study of art or actually doing the art? Study of art. I was going to say, Well, yeah. no, a bit of both, really. Okay. But, um, but you could, like, specialise in, like, or I was, like, I used to do installation art. What's installation art? Um, it's, like, creating something, really, rather than drawing something or... It's a sculpture. Yeah. Sculpture. And, uh, yeah, I, I know what you mean rather than the classic canvas or a classic piece of paper. Or something. Yeah. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's just, um, I don't know, I just really enjoy doing that kind of art. What is the final piece? I did like a movement piece instead, which was a lot of fun. It was like my, my degree piece. Mm -hmm. but, um, and so you did have to do some art? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And yeah, but I got an honours degree with that, so I think I did okay. <laughs> but yeah, after that, um, I didn't really know what to do because you can't just get an art job like that. Yeah. And um, I, well, I've, I've never had a degree. No, that's rather, I've never had a job that needed a degree. Yeah. Even though I have one. Well, I was quite interested in doing art therapy. Okay. Very like, cool. Uh, the, uh, in prisons. Quite interesting in doing that. Mm. I like on psychiatric wards. It's quite interesting in doing that. But I'd have to study further, like in Derby or Sheffield, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And after, I'd have to pay for it myself, basically, because I've already had a degree. And, uh, as you know, I, I'm a single parent. Mm -hmm. So 
I can't afford something like that. So um, in the meantime, um, I just I've just been doing odd jobs and stuff like that, just in retail. Every Christmas for the past fourteen years, I work for a company called Calendar Club. I can see how that would be seasonal work. Yeah. But that, that's why I love doing that. I've worked for the company for 14 years. I know the job inside out. And I'm really glad I'm good at it. So it's just easy and it's good for Christmas. It's mm -hmm. pays for Christmas. Yeah. But um, this year I started at college um, and I'm training to be a personal trainer, fitness trainer. I can see how that would work too. Yeah. Well, like, I just spend most of my days in the gym, all the time in the gym. Mm -hmm. And it just helps me. Like, I, um, I suffer with anxiety quite badly. Okay. So when I go there, it's like such a relief, and it's just. But since going there, it's like I've got a huge bum now. <laughs> I can lift heavy weights. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's just, it's just like. I, I believe that's called a booty. Yeah. So you've got a booty. It's really hard now. All right. well, after the show, I'm gonna have a proper look at okay. your booty. I can totally get away that before I'm going. <laughs> you can't because you're straight. <laughs> but just since being there, it's. Um, I've been taking some of my friends into to the gym with me. Mm -hmm. I teach them the basics and what to do. Because some of them just go in and they're like, I'll just want to buy. I'm like, no, no, you won't. Come with me. I'll show you this. I'll show you that. And they're just like, why, why don't you just like work in a gym? And I'm like, Sounds like you've kind of already started, like, yeah. casually. So, yeah, I started doing a course. Uh, I went straight on to my level two. I've already done a few exams and passed them, a few assessments and passed them. And um, I've been talking to my gym because I I train it like an, an independent gym. Right. And they they said that I can go and like take clients in there and they wouldn't like overcharge me and stuff like that because I know a lot of gyms they want a lot of money up front. Right. And you have to put in at least sixteen hours before you can start earning money and stuff like that yourself. Hell. And they do all the spinning classes and stuff. And I'm I'm not into spinning classes. I had to go spinning once. It wasn't dignified. No. No. I like caveman training and stuff. You like what? Like caveman training. Like, it's like fast paced stuff like, oh, you can flip, flip a tire ta for 60 seconds and uh, get the ropes and. Oh, I've seen that ropes yeah, thing. Do that for 60 seconds and then do something else because it's good for cardio but it's also it's better for your strength as well, straight away. So I, I like that kind of training. And just lifting weights, it's my favourite. I've never been to a gym. It's a lot of fun. Mm, it doesn't look fun. Well, it's not always fun, especially when like, because I'm trying to concentrate on my lower body. I want nice big thighs. Yeah, like Tony Storm's legs. Tony Storm's got amazing legs. She has got incredible legs. Yeah. I don't mind to set that up. I heard a rumour about Tony Storm. Really? Yeah, Go on. she's dating Tyler Bay. No. I know. Do you know what I think I heard that as well? Yeah. No, I'm really happy for them. They're both really <laughs> I know, lovely. So they're cute. really <laughs> sick. All this stuff it goes back to what we were saying, dating and wrestling. Bollocks. Absolutely bollocks. I've never seen a couple as happy as they are. And they're so young and cute I and know. it's just like exactly. dull. They work together as well. They they just they're just so perfect. Mm. They're so adorable. I think so. We um we <coughs> We spent a weekend together, Tony and me, um, we did like a little wrestling weekend together. Mm. We went up to, we went up north to Newcastle. Mm -hmm. What company was that? I'm going to say I don't know. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> don't look her again, she not know who the fuck you are. <laughs> it was three different companies in three days. Right. So, and there's so, so many letters to all these names, like it was Mid Middlesbrough? Mid, it was Middlesbrough. Alright, what company was it? Pro Wrestling. Middlesbrough Pro Wrestling. <laughs> Don't book her. <laughs> Terrible. Don't book her, she hates your company. Okay, you'll know who they are when I tell you. Um, there was a poster going around on Facebook when it was like, Dildo on a pole match. You did that? No, I didn't you do did that. The, the, no, no. When they pulled the dildo then, what did they do to you with it? They did ask me to be a part of that though, but I said no. Now I know what you mean. You were actually on that show. No, I wasn't on that show. That was their over 18 show. Right, I, I okay. Did, me and Tony did the family show. Right, okay. Till <laughs> they on a pole. Have you seen the trailer? <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. It's like, 
Man versus man match. Second match is a stre- strippers match. And when I say like bra, it's is like a bra and panties match. Literally, they all tear each other's like bikinis off. So it's like all. a bra and panties match, but to nudity rather yeah. than just to. Yeah. Did and you then, do that match? No, I wasn't oh, doing okay. on the show. Oh, okay. And then the next match was like a, a normal standard tag team match. And then the na- next match was the dildos on a pole match. Again, bras are off and everything. Fucks. <laughs> and then the next match was like wrestler versus wrestler again. And then I think it, it, the last match, I think there was still some interference with, with a stripper who got naked again. And I don't think there was that many people there. Wrestling! <laughs> I love it. And I hate it, but I love it. Yeah, I think so. And I think that's something I've got from everyone, is that you can just see that... How ev- how much everyone that's involved in wrestling loves it, but sometimes stuff like dildo on a pole match and you're like, oh, I don't really? you don't want to be associated with that shit. It's like there are a, a lot of like female gimmick matches and stuff like that, but you don't really get that nowadays because like women's wrestling is taken more serious now. Mm. So I think the, these days, if a girl is asked, will, will you do a bra and panties match? I think women actually get offended by that now. So you wouldn't do it? No, oh, no. Mm-hmm. I know some sort of gimmick match, but not like bra and panties. The um, my favourite match, well no, it's not my favourite match, but one of my favourite matches that I could watch again and again is the uh, evening gown match between Pat Patterson and um, oh, and yeah. um, Gerald Briscoe. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> hilarious! <laughs> and I love what I love about it is it, it killed evening gown matches as well. Too fucking right to kill evening air matches because they yeah. sucked. Yeah, they were bad. Yeah, they were. That's those really nice bad. frocks were ruined as well. Mm. I like a nice frock. Yeah. Uh-huh. I did used to like, what's one of my favourites? Uh, Royal Rumble, is it now? 2000? When um, they do like the, the swimsuit competition and then Mae Young came out. That was wonderful. And got a sausage boobies out. Oh, they were vile. <laughs> And on that note, (laughs) we're going to finish the show. We're talking about Mae Young's boobs, so you don't have to. Thank you for watching. I've been Magic Mark. She's been Violet Vendetta. See you.